Lesson 6.4c, Two-Step Equations with Negative Numbers. Quantities such as altitude or temperature may involve negative numbers. We solve equations with negative numbers just as we did equations with positive numbers. We use inverse operations to isolate the variable. In this equation, we have negative 4 plus 2c is equal to 16. So we have a negative number here. Well, in this situation, we would just add 4 to each side to eliminate this negative 4. Creates zero pairs, doesn't it? We eliminate it. Now we're just left with a positive 2c is equal to 16 plus 4, which is 20. We have 2c is equal to 20. We divide both sides by this coefficient 2. So we have 2 divided by 2, that makes a 1c. And 20 divided by 2 makes 10. We've isolated c to one side as it is equal to 10. We can use a formula to convert a temperature from degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. We're going to let c equal Celsius temperature. We're going to let x equal the Fahrenheit temperature. We actually could have used an capital F here for Fahrenheit, couldn't we? We substitute the Fahrenheit temperature right here to find the equivalent temperature in degrees Celsius. To convert a temperature from degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius, we subtract 32 from that Fahrenheit temperature and multiply it by 5 ninths. We get this formula. C, for Celsius temperature, is equal to 5 ninths times x minus 32, the Fahrenheit temperature minus 32. So here's a problem. An outdoor thermometer showed a temperature of negative 5 degrees Celsius. What was the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit? So we're actually going to use the formula for Celsius to find Fahrenheit. We're kind of flipping it around. So we write the formula and substitute negative 5 for C, for Celsius. Now we can solve for X, the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. We don't know the value of X, so we can't subtract within the parentheses. We can simplify this equation by multiplying both sides by the reciprocal of 5 ninths as 9 fifths. So take a look at my little card here. It says we are reciprocals of each other. This is 2 whole, and we can write it as a fraction as a 2 over a 1. Its reciprocal will be flipped around so that the denominator is now the numerator, and the numerator is now the denominator. And when we multiply them together, we would get 2 over 2, which is equal to 1 whole. The reciprocal of a number is its multiplicative inverse. The multiplicative inverse of this is 1 half. Whether it's a whole number written as a fraction over 1, a fraction greater than 1, or a fraction less than 1, its reciprocal is flipped upside down. When multiplied together, the product will equal 1. So if we have 5 ninths and we multiply it by its reciprocal, 9 fifths, we go straight across, we get 5 times 9 is 45, 9 times 5 is 45, same numerator and denominator, it's equal to 1. By multiplying both sides of the equal sign by the multiplicative inverse of 5 ninths as 9 fifths, what happens is we eliminate this 5 ninths by making it a 1. We do 9 fifths times a negative 5, we can write the negative 5 over a 1 to make it easier to multiply. We have 9 times negative 5, that's a negative 45, and 5 times 1 is 5. So we have negative 45 divided by 5, and on this side, we have 45 over 45. Well, that's 1, same numerator and denominator. So now, when we do the division here, negative 45 divided by 5 is negative 9. We have a negative and a positive, and when we divide, the quotient's going to be a negative, isn't it? Because they're unlike signs. So we have a negative 9 is equal to 1 times x minus 32. We distribute this 1 into the parentheses, and we end up with just negative 9 is equal to x minus 32. Now, because we have a negative 9 here and a negative 32 here, we can eliminate this negative 32 
by adding 32 to each side of the equal sign. That will isolate x. We add 32 here and get a positive 23. We add 32 here and we eliminate this. Minus 32 plus 32 makes 0. We have 23 is equal to x. That means the temperature was 23 degrees Fahrenheit. Did we do it correctly, though? We can check by substituting 23 into the original equation to check if our answer makes the equation true. We had negative 5 is equal to 5 ninths times x minus 32. So we put 23 in place of x, the variable, and we get negative 5 is equal to 5 ninths times 23 minus 32. Well, the order of operations tells us to do within the parentheses first, so we can do 23 minus 32 and get a negative 9. We can also distribute this 5 ninths multiplied to 23 minus 5 ninths multiplied by 32. But in this case, because that's a fraction and it's easier to just do the subtraction, we get a negative 9. Now we can multiply 5 ninths times negative 9. And we can write the negative 9 over 1, if that makes it easier for you to multiply straight across. 5 times a negative 9 is negative 45. 9 times 1 is 9. And when we divide negative 45 by a positive 9, we get a negative 5. Yes, it does equal negative 5. We did it correctly. To convert from degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit, we multiply the degrees Celsius by 9 fifths. That's the reciprocal of 5 ninths, isn't it? Then we would add 32 instead of subtracting 32. If we have negative 5, we multiply it. That's the degree Celsius. We multiply it by the 9 fifths, and we get negative 45 divided by 5, and we add 32. So we're going from this Celsius temperature to a Fahrenheit temperature. We get negative 9 plus 32. That gives us 23. That's 23 degrees Fahrenheit. So we know this would be the Fahrenheit. So we went from Celsius, degrees Celsius, to degrees Fahrenheit. Now, 9 fifths, well, that's a fraction greater than 1, isn't it? That's equal to 1 and 4 fifths. And if we give it a denominator of 10, 5 times 2 is 10, so we do 4 times 2 is 8. 1 and 4 fifths is equal to 1 and 8 tenths, which we can write as a 1.8 as a decimal. So we can also multiply by 1.8, which is 9 fifths as a decimal. So we could do negative 5 times 1.8 and then get our product and then add 32. Here's another one. An airplane flies at an altitude of 32,000 feet. As it nears the airport, the plane begins to descend at a rate of 500 feet per minute. At this rate, how many minutes will it take for the plane to descend to 18,000 feet? So we're going to let m be our variable, m for minutes. We have 32,000 feet minus 500 m. That's 500 feet per minute. And it's going to equal 18,000 because that's going to be the final altitude. So that's what it equals. We use inverse operations to isolate this m to one side. We have a positive on this side, the same side as our variable, that we need to get rid of. So we can subtract 32,000. We do it from both sides. That's going to create a zero pair here and eliminate this. And on this side, it's going to put us into the negatives. Because if we have 18,000 and we subtract 32,000, we're going to end up with negative 14,000. Now we have a negative 500m, because this negative sign goes with the coefficient. We have a negative 500m is equal to a negative 14,000. We divide both sides by this coefficient, negative 500. Same numerator and denominator. We get a positive 1, so we have a 1m. And negative 14,000 divided by a negative 500, they're both negative, so our quotient's going to be positive, is a positive 28. We know it'll take 28 minutes for that plane to descend to 18,000 feet. Now there's something else that we can do to make this all easier. 
We can divide each term by 100 to make this equation simpler and make the numbers easier to work with. Dividing by a power of 10 can be helpful. So 100 is 10 to the second power. It's equal to 10 times 10, isn't it? Those are powers of 10, okay? So that's why it's saying dividing by a power of 10. So we're going to divide by 100. We had 32,000 minus 500m is equal to 18,000. Here's a term, here's a term, and here's a term. Remember, terms are separated by operation signs. We have 32,000 divided by 100. Well, that gives us 320. We have a negative 500 divided by 100. That gives us a negative 5m. And here we have 18,000 divided by 100. That gives us 180. Well, now we're dealing with simpler numbers. We do a minus 320 on each side to eliminate this positive 320. Over here, it's going to give us a negative 140. Now we have negative 5m is equal to negative 140. When we divide both sides by this negative 5, we have the same numerator and denominator, so this whole thing is equal to a 1. We have 1m, and because they're both negative, we're going to have a positive 1, aren't we? But we don't need to write that 1, so we have just m and negative 140 divided by a negative 5. They're both negative, so we're going to have a positive. That's a positive 28. So it would take the plane 28 minutes to descend to 18,000 feet. We finished with part C. We're going to be moving on to the last part, which is in the, called the going further section. It's at the end of the lesson, and we're going to talk about arithmetic and algebraic solutions. So just remember, if you see a two-step equation with negative numbers, we just solve it the same way we would if it had positive numbers. We use an inverse operation. And remember, we can multiply by the multiplicative inverse on both sides of an equation, when we see an equation like this, to eliminate that fraction. Turn it into a 1. That would be identity property, because 1 times any number would be that number. Have a wonderful day, and join me for the last part of the lesson. Bye.